Hello and welcome to uh, my fourth commentary. Um, as you can see, it's my England team. Pretty good one. It's probably my best team of the series. Not really series, but all my FIFA Ultimate Team teams. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of this team. It cost me all my money. <laughs> I had to sell all my teams, but I'm proud of it. Anyway, got its 84 rating, four, 5 stars, um, 100 team chemistry. Goes quite over the 100 team chemistry if it didn't have a limit. It was 97 without. Um, a manager or so and Roy Hodgson adds on 14 um, you have, I have Roy Hodgson because he's English and I like him um, so that's about it to be honest 4 4 2 formation uh, yeah, onto the team Joe Hart and goal a good a good stopper of the ball saves does a lot of acrobatic saves but can be a bit stupid sometimes make the odd stupid mistake and is a bit dopey as you might say but he does pull off some fantastic saves um, left by got Ashley Cole, English player of the year. Um, any England team should have this guy on it. He's not that expensive anymore. He costs very. He costs five. Uh, f I, got, I think I picked him up for four grand with a four for two card. So that was pretty decent. I thought. John Terry, I had for my original Premier League team. Um, from before, he's not very quick, but he's a brilliant header of the ball and great tackler. Really strong, so always a good centre back to have, and obviously the captain of England. So I, ha if I'm going to make a good England team, has to be there. And the former England captain, Rio Ferdinand, a bit quicker than John Terry, not as good at heading, about equal at um, defending. He's got better stats, John Terry, but I think they're both about the same. He's quite strong too, Rio Ferdinand. So yeah, not too shabby of a player. Then you got. Glenn Johnson at right back. I have Richards too, but I thought if I'm gonna make a proper England team, I have the proper players because obviously Glenn Johnson starts every game for England, and he's pretty quick, got good shooting, so not a bad player to have going forward. And okay in defence, I guess. Um, Walcott right mid. I just wanted Pacey left and right mid. As you can see, I've got two of them, um, so I've gone my quickest possible um, available. So yeah, Walcott's in the team with his 94 pace. Jared, what a player! Got 87 shooting, 89 pass, and 8 pace. Can't ask for much more from a centre midfielder. Um, he's pretty good. I I, I, I love having him in the team. Um, good for knocking over the uh, over three balls and winning tackles because he's good at tackling. Obviously, he's a strong man. And then we got Frank Lampard, very similar to Stevie G. Slightly better at shooting though, apparently with the FIFA ratings, but uh, a bit slower. So sort of jarred. I sort of rather have Jared because he's a bit quicker, but Lampard's a much better shooter at the ball apparently, which I don't really see the difference since when I've been playing with him. Um, Ashley Young, left mid, a uh, very quick player as you like I said before for Walcott. I want to pace it um, on my left, on my left and right side for whipping and balls. They're all right. Um, yeah, behind as long as they're not too strong defenders, they'll do all right at, at fullbacks if they're not very strong. But if they are they sometimes do get dominated and have to play through the middle it's not the best of ideas but you take the risks um, Darren Ben up front, he's pretty good um, good all round player good pace, um, good shooting decent heading so it's all you want from a striker to be honest Bit good all round player, then Rooney best player in my squad to be honest, not big fan of, I'm not a big fan of him but I don't like my United but I have to concede he is probably my best player um, 85 pace, 87 shooting, 84 pass and 82 head and can't go wrong with that to be honest. He is just brilliant and played a few games with this team and he scored a 40 yard screen. I thought to save it because um, I was in a rush after. Um, I drew three all and then the guy um, in the match's draw and blah blah blah. I didn't get, I forgot to save it. Um, so yeah, that's my starting line up. And we got on the bench Defoe, um, always ever present for England. I, um, also got Agbon Lahore. He's sort of to bring on if I need extreme pace. But as you can see, I got pretty sorted out up front. Um, with the two strikers though, I've got I've not get I've not got Crouchy, which is a bit of a disappointment because I do like Peter Crouch. So I might end up getting him if my strikers get annoying. And then the cover for. Walcott, not bad covering tool. In fact, he's apparently better than Walcott, but on pace, he's not. But um, So he's on there to come on if I need a wide man replacing. Um, I've got Adam Johnson to replace Ashley Young. So obviously, 
he's not as good at, as Ashley Young. But if I want a stronger player, I play him because he's a bit stronger than Ashley Young, I find. And I do like strength, and Adam Johnson is the guy for that. Um, you got next, you got Paul Scholes. I've had him in previous teams. I do like this guy. He's got an amazing shot on him, and he's good pass with the ball. He's not he's not very well rated, but he's got 88 pass and 78 shooting. That's all you really need, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm not afraid to stick him on for Gerald or Lampard if I need to, because I know he'll do the job. Um, then you got Michael Dawson as a replacement for centre backs. Uh, he's got good, decent pace for a centre back. Good defending, good, great heading, and I, I like this guy. You know, he's playing more, starting to play a bit more often for England, and I, I like that because he's a fantastic centre back. He's been one of Spurs' best players this season, and um, um, congratulations to him because he deserves it. And then you got my full back. Richards, he's covered for left and right back if I need to. 83 pace, 83 defending, 88 heading. Can't go wrong with that. He's a strong full back with pace. That's sort of every guy's dream for a full back. Because he's just got everything. Except for shooting, obviously. But FIFA on air, you could probably score a 25 yard of him. And then FIFA. But yeah, that's my team. Um, thanks for watching. I might have a team, uh, new team soon because it's slightly getting a bit bored of this one. I get pff, bored quite easily with teams. And so I might create a new one. It might have a few of these pairs in there if I decide so. But anyway, cheers for watching. Um, thanks.